Hello everyone, it's Mary. Welcome back to the channel. We are doing another design team project for Not Too Shabby. And there's nothing like starting off Christmas Eve with a little bit of Bam Pow. We are going to be playing with this adorable set from Darcy's. So cute. This is called Bam Pow and it is a superhero set. So this is me wishing you all a super Christmas, right? Does that work? Can I make the connection there? <laughs> anyway, let's get started. So we have our uh, cutie patooties here, a boy and girl superhero, and I'm using some VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink. I'm going to stamp them out, and I am going to be using alcohol markers. I wanted to try out alcohol markers again with Nocturne ink, and I would say it works. I don't think it is as good as uh, Memento for the simple fact that when you have to run over a black line, say like the eyes of these images, uh, when I do that with the flesh colored um, markers, the black ble bleeds just a tiny bit. It's really not that noticeable. But on the outside lines, you can't notice at all. So you'll kind of see and you can make your own judgments here at the end. But I really like it. I think this is my go-to all-purpose ink. Love these. Okay, so I am coloring in. I'm putting up the colors that I'm using here. Now I'm skipping um, me coloring the girl because it's the same color combination. But I am using a gray. So I'm using the, I guess it would be the cool grays for the uh, mask, the cape, the boots. Um, and then for the body suit, I'm going to be using warm grays. And that's just going to just kind of switch it up a little bit. And I really followed the coloring on the front of the packaging. So that worked out beautifully. They were a huge help there. Okay, so I'm going to be moving on here to the flesh colors. Now you can see of the Copics that I do own, I own the some skin tones and then I own two grays and two of every other color scheme. So that's the extent of my Copic collection right now. Maybe in the future I'll expand as my Spectrum Noirs uh, die out on me. I can't refill them so I'm thinking about switching over to something else. But I do have some alcohol markers coming from Nuvo I wanted to try out. So I'll be doing a review on those as well because their price point is amazing. And if those work out then mm, that's a game changer. Okay, so I'm, you can see that I am filling in the rest of this. I'm just picking some colors here or there to um, finish up. And on the girl's hair, I opted for the brown tones. There is on the stamp image on the packaging, it's more of a red tones, which I think is adorable. Uh, but I went for browns. Here I am stamping out my little uh, bat symbol there. And then we're going to move on to making the background of the card. So I pulled out this mountain die and this cityscape die. And I've had these for a very long time. They're from a kit, a card kit from a long time ago. So I pulled those out and I am now making my background. My background I did want to resemble a night sky. So I used these three Distress Oxide inks to blend on there. Very, this was very fast to do, honestly, to blend this out. So I got that and then I'm doing my water droplets just to kind of give it that distressed look. And I pull out from my mister my nozzle and I tap it on there instead of spritzing on there because the spritz will give me a little bit too fine of a mist. And there's that. So here I've cut with black cardstock. I'm keeping this super simple. This is black cardstock with the cityscape. And then for the mountainscape, I'm cutting out my cardstock first so I know where to stop because I want the tops of my mountains to be more white as if they have snow caps. So I'm going to be placing that down and I'm going to be pulling out some Distress Oxide in, I want to say this is Vintage Photo. And I'm just going to be going up into the mountain, sort of um, blending it darker on the bottom and then up as it gets lighter. And then I'm going to stop. I'm not going to go to the tips of those mountains. So you can kind of see here as I'm putting this card together, um, I really love the way this came out. <laughs> Funny enough, when I showed my daughter, she was like, oh, it's good. Um, it's a little plain. And I thought, oh my gosh, what am I creating? Like, because a card that takes 20 minutes, 30 minutes versus one that takes three hours, she equates to plain versus exciting. <laughs> No, this, this is not plain 
to me, this is easy. I just opted for the easy route. However, I think it's fun. Anyway, you guys let me know what you think. And on the top there, I stamped out the um, You're the Bomb stamp set, and then it's kind of outlined, so I filled it in with white gel pen just to make it pop. And then I'm putting all this down with some Liquid Nouveau glue, and then I am going to pop up my characters. So they are going to be um, disproportionately sized, but hey, it's a card. It's all for fun. And maybe the city is way behind them. So that's what we're going with right now. The city is way behind them. So they are standing there and use some of that Dollar Tree foam tape there that I have that I apparently bought way too much of because you're going to be seeing a whole lot of it throughout the next few years. And then finally I'm going to use my white gel pen and I am going to just do some highlighting of where, um, just to you know, kind of break up the images a little bit and give them a little bit of uh, shine, even though there's no shine. So that is pretty much going to do it for this card. When you're doing the highlights, you want to just kind of figure out where um, it would be equal on both sides because the light source, whatever that would be, would be coming at them from the same angle. So that's my only tip for white highlighting. I have none, no other tips because I don't know much else about it. <laughs> So there we go. Finished card. Yay. There it is. Thank you so much for stopping by and for crafting with us. Um, I'll link everything I used below. Don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss anything. Find other forums for us. Check out the Not Too Shabby shop. Lots of great things in there. Lots of great deals. She will be closed from the 25th of December and she's hoping to be back up by the 1st. Switching everything over to a new platform. So that will be so awesome and so exciting to see. So from my family to yours, we wish you a very Merry Christmas, a very happy holiday. We hope that you get some time with your family and get to relax and enjoy it. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.